And you know what, like, like was spoken, if you've got a... Oh my gosh, Mark Cordes, is that you? Oh, Mark! Oh, I've been looking for you for so many years. You don't remember me, do you? Of course I do. Folks, I gotta tell you, Mark and I went to school together back in second grade. And oh, you were such a good little boy, Mark. The teachers loved you, you were polite, you always sat still. But one day, I noticed that you were really fidgety. Everybody noticed, because you kept fidgeting around in your seat and wiggling around in your seat. And the teacher said, Mark, dear, what's wrong? And Mark said, well, teacher, my seat is asleep. And she said, that's impossible, dear, your seat can't be asleep. I was a little girl sitting behind you, Mark who raised your hand and said, yes, sir, teacher, Mark's seat is asleep. I heard it snore. <laughs> remember that day, Mark? Look, I do remember that. I do remember that. Yeah, I remember that. And I, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't remember you until you shook, shook, shook your booty there a second ago. Well, that's oh, uh, Thank you, is cha-ching. It, is it Ruthie? <laughs> It's Ruthie. I remember you, Ruthie. And, and how's how, you? Look, you look great. <laughs> Thank you. How how are things? Well, not too good. Well, it's Friday the thirteenth. I mean, you got a cush gig here, don't you? Oh, it's just it's. I was on TV. Typically, yeah. I was on TV in the '60s, The Laughing Show. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Ruth. Ruth Buzzy. Yeah. Remember, remember Ruth? Yeah. Yeah. But since then, well, things is slow. Slow. Yeah. So I came to Mesa to find you because I heard you were here. <laughs> and I love Mesa. I love the park. I went to Pioneer Park. Oh, the benches are so comfortable. <laughs> and one day, Mark, I noticed two older gentlemen sit. Can I sit down? Yeah, please. You're making me I nervous. I noticed. I thought so. <laughs> I can tell. I was too close for comfort. <laughs> there were two older men sitting on the park bench, and suddenly I got this urge, dear, to take off all my clothes and run past them as fast as I could. So I did. I ran past them like this. <laughs> and I heard one of them say, what was that? And the other one said, I don't know what it was, but it sure needs ironing. <laughs> If you ever get a chance to do this, folks, if you're ever tempted to take off your clothes and run around in front of people, squirt your tongue with a little Windex. It'll keep you from streaking. <laughs> I can make a note of that one. <laughs> well, that's I, well, I'm glad you stopped by. I oh, feel Lisa. like. Can I say one more thing I found in Mesa? Please. Because I love Mesa. I found Superstition Spring Center. Oh. And they have wonderful shopping for Valentine's Day, Mark. Yep, they have the Arizona Diamond Center. If you want to buy jewelry for your honey. Of course, I never got any jewelry because, well, I never got a man. But oh. my girlfriend said, don't worry, Ruthie. It's OK if you didn't get a man because, let's face it, men are like parking spaces. All the good ones are taken. <laughs> and the rest are handicapped. <laughs> and at that Superstition Spring Center, they have Victoria's Secret, where oh. you can buy frilly bras and things. Do you, is that what you like to? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> the frilliest bra I ever got, darling, was the bra called the American Kennel Club bra. Guaranteed to make pointers out of your setters. <laughs> oh, wow. Write that one down. <laughs> oh, and also a there's a way to sneak retrievers in there, too, but I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> and they also have that store, Bath and Body Works. And Mark, I, I'm really working on my body. I went and exercised the other day. I'm telling you, I bent. Mark, I stretched, I pulled, I was exhausted. 
and that was just putting on my tights. <laughs> hey, you know what? You'd be perfect for something. I, uh, before what? you came out here, yes. um, I was going to do the top ten list. Maybe you could do that for us. Oh, could I? Please do that. Oh, that I'd love awesome. to. I just happen to have a copy right here. How weird is that? Weird, spooky. All right, we're going to do the top ten list. Ruthie's going to do it. And Ruthie, why don't you tell us what it is? All right. I, excuse me, dear. I have to put on my glasses. And I'm embarrassed because my mother, she's 97, she doesn't use glasses. She drinks right out of the bottle. <laughs> All right. The top 10 reasons you may be alone this Valentine's Day. Your shower schedule shows no occurrences this week. <laughs> How did you know my shower no, schedule? That, that... All right, number nine. You've had more conversation with your house plants than with human beings. <laughs> Number eight, looking attractive to others is time consuming, expensive, so you give up. <laughs> they didn't like that one. Yeah, much. that's you it's know a little what? close to home. I tried that though. I tried looking better. I went out and got a mud pack and I looked gorgeous for three days and then the mud fell off. <laughs> oh, number seven, the first line item of your monthly budget is video games. <laughs> Number six, the only person you want to see in the morning is your barista. <laughs> Number five, your home could be used as a promo for the show Hoarders. <laughs> Number four, Netflix knows you better than anyone, and the idea of sharing your password is a deal breaker. <laughs> Number three, you begin to consider your cat's reaction to a prospective partner as a make or break deal in dating. <laughs> I love animals and Mark you've got animal magnetism. Yes. Doesn't he ladies? Oh yeah. Let's hear it. I'm just not housebroken. Oh. Well I have four favorite animals. I like a tiger in the bedroom. I like a jaguar in the garage, mink in the closet and a jackass to pay for it all. <laughs> Number two, your family has stopped asking if you're dating anyone. And finally, no, Number one, oh, I'm so excited, I'm choked up. <laughs> the main reason that you may be alone this Valentine's Day, drum roll, Mark. You failed to bring a guest to Mesa Morning Live. <laughs> oh, big round of applause for Ruthie. Thanks, Ruthie. Here's your Valentine. Oh, thank. Oh, I love thank you. Oh, thank you. That is, that is so sweet. Thanks. You're welcome. There's words of wisdom for you on the back. Oh, thank you, honey. Oh. Yes, you're welcome. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Ruthie. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> Never know who's going to stop by. Words of wisdom for my love. Oh, thanks, Ruthie. Man who stands on toilet is high on pot. <laughs> that is awesome. Hey, by the way.